Hey, you guys, thank you for joining me on another episode of News by Muse. I'm your host, Manny Gomez. This week, we're saying goodbye to summer and we're welcoming in my favorite season, fall. Now, just as we do that, Peacock is also getting set to drop their three-part event titled The Continental from the World of John Wick. The new series is going to expand the franchise lore and give you a little insight on how some characters got their start. Now, speaking of insight, Peacock gave us a little insight on the new series when they turned the Roosevelt Hotel in Hollywood into the Continental. Let's take a look. During our time at the Continental Hotel, we were treated to a special presentation with executive producer and director Albert Hughes and executive producers Basil Iwanek and Erica Lee. Here, we learned about the journey into taking the John Wick franchise back in time to the 70s to learn about the rise of one Winston Scott. In the movies, we have such limited amounts of time to kind of delve into the characters in the world, and specifically the Continental, which itself has become a character in the movies and, and so special, and everyone wants to know more about it. Who works there? How does it work? What's the, you know, the inner lives of the assassins? So I think it's been fun for us to kind of take a deep dive into that, and the show really does that. During our visit, we also met with other members of the crew, including the action director, production designer, sound editor, and costume designer. Keep an eye out for a dedicated video to this event on our website, as well as interviews with some of them. The Continental from the World of John Wick premieres Friday, September 22nd, exclusively on Peacock. And out of some exciting news in streaming via Transponder Snail, Monkey D. Luffy is not only conquering the high seas, but apparently every form of media. Really to no surprise to anyone, Netflix has announced they've decided to renew One Piece for a second season. The announcement was made via a very special video featuring One Piece's creator, Ichiro Oda. According to Netflix, the series has over 37.8 million views in two weeks since its release, with over 4 billion social media impressions on TikTok alone. One Piece is Japan's highest selling manga in history, and there is, to this date, 1,775 episodes of the anime. And out of some box office news, the supernatural forces of Warner Brothers, The Nun 2, at the time of recording, seems to have ever so slightly beat out Disney's murder mystery, A Haunting in Venice, with $14.7 million at the box office in its second week, while the Kenneth Branagh-directed film is said to have finished ever so slightly behind at $14.5 million. Overall, it was a dismal showing this weekend at the box office, topping out at $62 million according to Comscore in ticket sales. The second worst weekend of the year. At 3 was The Equalizer 3, followed by My Big Fat Greek Wedding 3, and rounding up the top 5, the juggernaut that is Barbie. Friday officially kicked off Hispanic Heritage Month. It's a special time to recognize the contributions and influences of Hispanic Americans to the history, the culture, and achievements of this country. Just in time to kick off the celebrations, Prime Video has released a new feature film, A Million Miles Away, starring Michael Peña and Rosa Salazar. The film is inspired by the real-life story of NASA flight engineer Jose Hernandez, who was born in Mexico, then worked in the fields in Central California, and was able to persevere and become an astronaut in NASA. News by Muses, Michael Sandoval caught up with Hernandez and director Alejandra Marquez. I, I had a parallelism with Jose. No, I thought that if he got to walk into NASA with that confidence and with that you know, pride, I could do the same with my first English language film. And I did. I think this, this opportunity changed my life because of the material I, I was working with. In an instant inspirational classic uh, that allows the viewer to dream big on their own, have their own big dream. You can find the full interview on our website, musetv.net. And you can enjoy A Million Miles Away, now streaming on Prime Video. As we wrap up, I just want to take a moment and acknowledge that this past weekend, we celebrated my favorite superhero, The Dark Knight, on Batman Day. I cannot tell you how much I've enjoyed watching the character evolve from comic books to television to movies. My favorite runs, of course, are Scott Snyder's, Tom King's when it comes to comics. My favorite movie is Batman Returns, just because that was my first, and as far as the absolute Batman, I got to give it to Kevin Conroy, whose conversations with I will cherish forever. Thank you so much for joining me today on another episode of News by Muse. Be sure to keep up 
with our website as we're going to be bringing you all sorts of awesome content. With News by Muse, I'm Manny Gomez.